Hi everyone, welcome to Home Reno Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Thor from the Thor Ragnarok movie, and it is part of the Hulk Builder Figure Wave. Flipping around to the back of the box here, you can see a small little bio, nice picture of the figure, and then everything else in the way. If you do need all of these figures to go ahead and complete your Hulk Builder figure, and if you want to see reviews of them all, go ahead and subscribe and tell everyone about this, because these will be all coming at you thick and fast straight after this video. So within the next day or two, all of these videos will be live. So uh, stay tuned to the channel to see all of those. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And here is Thor out of the packaging, and oh my god, this figure is so damn good, I have to say, right out the bat. There is only one thing that I dislike about this figure, and that is just the material that the weapons are actually made of. Uh, as you can see, they uh, do look very nice. They have the nice metallic blue, teal, whatever color that is. The bad thing is you can see how warped they are. They are incredibly uh, bendy and flexible, and I don't really like that for weapons. I would very much prefer hard plastic weapons that do not and cannot get warped whatsoever. Um, obviously, it's just a kind of safety thing for kids, if you have hard weapons whereas doing it flexible like this obviously it's going to help them get out of cases where kids are getting hurt by them i understand that but you know as a collector and having these things on display i definitely don't like warped weapons it's something that you can look past they do definitely look cool um you do obviously get two of them and his hands can hold them very very well so uh, newly sculpted weapons that he holds well and you can actually also go ahead and store them here on his back just like so, and they look fantastic. So I have to say, I absolutely adore the weapons, I just wish that they were made in hard plastic. But other than that, the figure is pure gold. Now just as any Asgardian should, he does actually stand seven inches to the top of the head there, that's not including the uh, helmet there, so just right to the top of these ear parts, he's actually a little bit taller. Uh, eyes, he's actually the same height as this version of Thor, which I believe was the Age of Ultron one, it's from the four pack, the box set. Obviously, you can just go ahead and take this movie hammer and give it to him if you really want to. But uh, this head sculpt, yes, it's a great Thor head sculpt, but is it a great Chris Hemsworth head sculpt? From a certain point, I reckon from about that angle right there, about 45 degrees, I think you can just about see Chris in there. From this one, um, I think you can see Chris Hemsworth from every single angle, however... I actually feel it makes him look about 10, maybe 15 years older. I definitely think this is kind of like an old Thor. I'm not sure exactly what makes it look like that, but I definitely do believe that this does definitely look like a slightly older Chris, which I'm perfectly fine with, but it still does look like the actor, and that is fantastic. So now going on to the rest of the figure, this cape, um, by the way, to get this thing out of the package, it's really helpful uh, to take the uh, cape off. It's actually just pegged in down here at the side. And then up here, you can go ahead and just remove it. So if you don't want it there, you can remove it. And then obviously you can just pop the head off and just remove this. It does leave a bit of a hole right there, but honestly that doesn't look all too terrible. So if you want him without the uh, the cape on, you can go ahead and do that. The cape is a kind of rubbery plastic, and it's actually got uh, some pretty nice detail in there as well. Uh, I don't believe that there's a wash on it, but I think it's just the way that the light reflects off it and all the deep crevices. It does definitely make it look like it's got a lot of shadowing in there, so very nice indeed. As for the rest of the figure right here, you do have the awesome blue look on the helmet and the uh, shoulder pauldron here, which actually is connected to the arm, which really helps for articulation. Love it when they do that. And then down here, this leg piece, it has the, uh, the epic red writing on there, which is done very cleanly, but you can actually just pull it off. If you don't want it there, you don't have to have it there. But also, it means that you can put this on whatever other figure you want. If you've got two of these, you could give him, you know, both legs or something like that. I think that's a really, really nice touch that you can go ahead and take it off if you want to. And what I would love to see Marvel Legends do is maybe some Iron Man figures or, or just some other characters that have armor that also have a regular costume that doesn't have the armor or something like that so that you can go ahead and, uh, you know, just customize your own figures. Maybe have a, a Punisher with body armor or something that you could just take off at any point I think that would be amazing so this I'm actually really excited for if they do carry on this kind of technology what's also fantastic is yes the whole thing is all new sculpts maybe apart from just these uh, arm pieces here and the shoulders which will obviously be taken from this figure right over here but these four arm pieces you know the brown straps right there they're not just painted they are molded in in terms of the articulation then heads on a ball joint can look up and down left and right 
yes, you do have the paintwork on the neck there carrying on from that face. That's pretty damn cool. These are flexible plastic right here, so they're not going to, uh, you know, snap or anything like that. You can't rotate them like the helmet would do in the uh, movie. Obviously, they are actually attached with like a square peg, not a round one. And obviously, the helmet's not removable anyway, so that wouldn't make much of a difference. But it would have been awesome if it was, because obviously in this film, he does have the short hair. So it would be epic if we could take that off and everything. But then I think the helmet would probably be a bit too oversized. So I'm glad that we've got it attached as it is. The uh, shoulders this because that moves out the way can actually get the full range of motion so it moves all the way up rotates all the way around you've got the rotation at the part of the arm double jointed elbows rotation and then the hinges at the wrists the wrists actually move up and down there i was <laughs> thinking they move left and right they actually move up and down and that is the same for both which works well for the sword we have rotation at the waist we have a good crunch right here if you move it all the way back you kind of see a bit of ugliness but still the articulation is there so coming down to the hips, these do hinder it a bit, but you can still get pretty damn good movement right there. That's as wide as you would want it to go. Uh, forward and back, rotation of part of the thigh, double jointed knees, the feet do move up and down, and obviously you get your ankle pivot as well. So what we have here then is a new era of movie toys from Marvel Legends. Even better digital sculpting for those amazing character likenesses. Uh, we have all new uh, sculpt work pretty much except for just a couple of parts on the arms and maybe the hands as well you know uh, we have the new style weapons very flexible weapons whether you like that or not um, and and the paint work that they're throwing on these figures is absolutely incredible and what's great is that normally you get one or two figures in a wave that have all of the new sculpts and the new paint and everything and then other stuff in the line doesn't get that kind of treatment but every single figure in this wave is done really really well a lot of them are actually bigger figures because of them being as guardians and everything. And then you get a massive builder figure, you know, you get a big Hulk figure. So honestly, they are really giving us uh, value for money with this wave. And, you know, you're getting more plastic, more paintwork, more newly molded parts. Honestly, I cannot speak highly of this wave enough. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see other videos from my collection, check out my uh, videos are on screen right now. And Instagram and Twitter, the link is in the description below. It's homerino 123 for both. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see the rest of the wave, which are coming up straight after this video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.